welcome hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is serena ww and if you're a new subscriber welcome if you're an og on this channel thank you for coming back and in today's video i'm going to be talking about deflammation you heard me right those of you that know how to sit down behind your phone and keep typing and saying things about people that are not true i am coming for you on this video so my channel i share productivity life and love so please please do where to subscribe like this video and share with your friends and make sure you leave a comment on one or two if you have any questions so let's get straight into the video so now when can we say a statement is actually defamatory in the eyes of the right thinking members of the public so when you do that that is actually when you make any statement that does this element i have mentioned you are defaming that person for instance there are so many authorities that have been cited but i don't want to bore you on those cases so now what did you does it mean to actually defame someone and make a statement that defends someone that reduces them in the eye of the right thinking members of the public i want to tell you that there are two categories of defamation yeah you hear me right two categories of defamation so defamation can actually be in form of, of libel or, or slander so what does it mean for a defamatory statement to be in form of libel a defamatory statement is actually in form of libel when it is made visible and in a permanent form such as it is written a printed statement or a blog for instance maybe you're on instagram and you just write on instagram that this girl is a prostitute and you know fully well that she's not a prostitute she's and actually sue on that ground so if someone comes on your page or on your handle or comes and meets you and so makes a publication about you and say that okay some things that about you that are not true that is actually a libelous defamation so you can actually sue that person on grounds of total liability that kind of thing so this one is for instance when a person makes um defamatory statement about you in a book newspaper secular and what of that so what uh, whatever means you understand sorry that i'm looking down i'm actually reading for my um, research so um defamation can also be like in defamation can be in form of slander when it's actually just like word of when mouth it's actually just like word of mouth and um word of mouth are spoken so these are not in permanent form these are words speeches or sometimes gestures for instance someone makes a says a rumor about you which is not true and they are trying to reduce your reputation in the eye of the right thinking member of the public you can actually sue that person so you that is being making that defamatory statement be mindful because you can get sued and you that is being affected know your rights that actually you can actually sue this person for making such statements so now like a libel is actionable per se meaning that you don't have to prove it because obviously the physical material is actually there for people to for the judge or the lawyer to actually see and you don't need to prove it but then slander you need to actually prove it that these statements were made and all of that although there are instances there are exceptions where slander must can be actionable per se that is maybe it involves crime and the likes or a statement that is made in likes of crime and you know you understand me so that's just basically like the two form of defamation in terms mm -hmm. of libel and slander so anytime anyone makes a public um publication about you in a book newspaper about what is not true know that he that is a liberous if there's anything like that though <laughs> so that is a libel and he's defaming you so that can be a form of libel or libel but if someone comes out and makes speeches or makes statements about you or even do does a video the way i'm doing a video about you and saying some things about you that don't you know that that person is actually defaming you and that is in form of slander which is not actionable per se that means you have to prove that okay this person actually made this defamation but when it is libel you don't need to actually prove once you can actually show the evidence the court will be satisfied and give ruling in your favor then um you know i told you earlier that there are instances where slander cannot be actionable per se and i told you that when it relates to a commission of a crime when it relates to um alleging a person relates of to, um let's say instances of when you're saying the person has a contagious disease uh, for instance maybe when the person you are telling that saying that the person is unfit for an office so that can actually be slander actionable per se so there are several examples of when it is actionable per se in terms of slander so 
let us move on to what can you do the remedies you can seek when you are defamed so first of all before we go to into the remedies there are some elements that you must prove as someone who has been defamed you must actually prove that the statement is defamatory you must be able to establish the reason for that defamatory statement you must establish that the statement actually referred to you and also you must establish that whether it was published or whether the statement was um said you understand in what on what brands it was said so basically you know when you're with your lawyer he's going to like show you this but then let me tell you what is more important to you let us go to the remedies that are available for you when you face any form of defamation so when you are sitting there typing typing and typing things that are not about someone that is not true just note that um you can be sued but before i go into the remedies who are the people that are actually affected who are the people that can be defamed every human being can be defamed every firm can be defamed every company can be defamed a small body of persons as well can be defamed so must know that defamation does not just cut across people and there are some remedies um some defenses that some people will pull up um or the defenses include maybe for instance in making a fair comment there's a justification about what he's saying um he's saying it's out of privilege he didn't not intend any form of um absolute privilege and um qualified privilege so there are several types of privileges where you can let's, let's say um defenses that a person can put up okay like i am making this statement because i have the privilege to i'm making it because it's a fair comment i'm making it because i got consent and sometimes there could be death of the um plaintiff or defendant um res judicata as well stops the person accord and satisfaction status bar so what are the remedies available for anybody that has been defamed first of all we are awarded damages injunction can be given seizure or destruction of um, defamatory matter and offer of amend satisfaction um, accord retraction and apology either privately or publicly under the constitution so that's basically all there is to know about defamation so whenever you are defaming somebody be careful oh you can be sued for that it is a total liability and if you are for instance now you say okay i know why i'm defaming the person i'm making a fair comment that can be your defense it is just if um, it's justified it's a justified statement that can be your defense it's from absolute privilege qualified privilege fair comment absence of knowledge of defamatory publication and also innocence it can be your defense all these are found in section 373 of the criminal code so thank you so much for watching this video if you stayed up to this time you are the real og and i'm sure that you have learned about your right as it comes to defamation so see you we'll see you next time i remain serene as the video don't forget to like this video share with your friends that you know that are going through deflammation share with them or let them know their rights yes because nobody has the right to talk on through say on through things about you to ridicule you in the eyes of right thinking members of the public so share this video with them so that they can know their right don't forget to like this video subscribe and comment down below have you ever been defamed and what did you do about it see we'll see you next time i remain serena ww bye